All right, so first off, I gotta apologize. I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I've been busy doing a lot of cleanup and stuff from uh, the last skid loader project, and with the whole uh, coronavirus ordeal, they got us working our ass off. So I've been pretty tied up uh, and haven't been able to make a video. But I wanted to show you guys the next project. So this is a utility vehicle. It is an AUSA. I am unfamiliar with AUSAs. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's spelled A-U-S-A. Let's see here, A-U-S-A. So it's an AUSA utility vehicle. Um, so this thing I got, uh, I found it on Facebook actually, and believe it or not, a Mennonite was selling this thing, this, uh, Mennonite farmer, uh, out in, uh, I forget where it is, you know, close to Nahal in Pennsylvania, and, um, I saw this thing, it looked pretty cool, and I said, well, you know, this would probably be a cool project to do on YouTube, um, so doing a quick little one over the thing, the thing's been, uh, used pretty hard, um, but it's only got 400 hours on it. So I don't know if you can see, if you guys can see that, but it's only got 432 hours on the thing. So, but you see the seats are all fucked up. Um, things been used pretty hard. Um, and I'm pretty sure this Mennonite guy got this thing um, from an auction, I think. Um, uh, so it's not, it turns over, but it won't, won't, won't start. Um, tried squirting a little ether in it and she still won't fire. So the Mennonite that I got this thing from, he thinks that the timing's off and it jumped a tooth on the timing chain, <clears throat> which is feasible. Uh, I don't really know if I believe that though. Um, I don't know, 400 hours and it, Jumped a tooth on the timing gear. It just doesn't sound right to me. But, um, and the other thing, uh, usually Mennonites are really resourceful. You know, they don't really like to get help from a lot of people. So, uh, you know, um, I even, I was questioning the guy pretty hard a little bit and um, kind of surprising because he didn't sound like he didn't know too much about engines and stuff like that. So, I don't know, um, either he's hiding something and didn't want to tell me, or, um, he really truly doesn't know, uh, much about engines and what to do with this thing. So, this is an M50 AUSA. Uh, I had to look the thing up. It's made in Spain originally, apparently, and, uh, it's got this bombarder engine in it. It's got, like, 30 horsepower. Um, I think it's got a pretty heavy payload. It weighs 1,500 pounds, but it'll hold 11, uh, 1,100 pounds. And it'll tow like 2,500 pounds. So um, the thing must be pretty strong and uh, must have been uh, pretty cool. But really, that's all I know about it. Here's Ivy coming to check it out. So uh, this will be the next project. Um, it'll probably be a couple videos. The first thing will be to figure out what's wrong with it, why won't it fire, um, to see if it's worth working on or if I just try to sell it as is. Um, but if I get it running and it's worth, um, worth repairing, then I'll have to buy a bunch of stuff, you know, I'll have to straighten out the front grill, buy a headlight, clean the thing. Um, it's got a couple taillights that are out. I'm going to have to get new seats for the thing because they look horrible. Um, yeah, so this will be the next project. Again, sorry for uh, the delay in videos, but I'll start recording my videos on this thing. So this is a 2007 AUSA utility vehicle so we'll see uh we'll see what's in store with this thing all right more to come